Are you tired of this? The oversaturated, oversharpened, gamey look of Football Life 26 or Pez 21? What if you could transform it into this? A hyper-realistic, soft, and cinematic image that looks less like a game and more like a real broadcast. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get this look using a powerful tool called Reshade. So what is Reshade? It's a free post-processing injector. That's a fancy way of saying it lets us add our own visual effects like color correction, motion blur, and advanced lighting directly on top of the game. It's the key to unlocking true realism. First, let's get it installed. Step one, go to the official website at reshade.me. The link is in the description. Step two, click download and get the latest version. Step three, run the setup file you just downloaded. A window will pop up. You need to find your game's main executable file. Click Browse. Navigate to your SP Football Life 2026 folder and select fl26.exe. Click Next. It will ask for the rendering API. For Football Life and PES 21, you must select Direct3D 10, 11, or 12. Click Next. You'll see a list of shader packs. If you plan on using my presets, I recommend clicking Uncheck All at the top and then Check All. This downloads all the necessary shaders. Click Next. Just wait for the shaders to download and install. And that's it. You can close the setup. Reshade is now installed in your game. Now, before we just turn things on, we need to understand why real footage looks real. The secret isn't to add more. It's often to add back the natural, subtle imperfections that our eyes expect to see. If you've ever been introduced to 3D design or visual effects, you'll know the simple answer, imperfection. Real life is not as perfect as video games try to be, especially when they're trying to look realistic. The secret isn't always to add more. It's to add back the natural, subtle imperfections that our eyes expect to see. So let's break that down. First, less sharpness. Real camera lenses don't produce the pixel-perfect digital sharpness that games do. We'll actually use a shader to soften the image, which gets rid of that artificial, over-sharpened look. Second, real motion blur. Real cameras have a shutter speed. When a player moves and kicks the ball, everything blurs based on the camera frame rate and the shutter speed. The ball, their arm or leg, basically everything moves we can add a high-quality cinematic motion blur that mimics this, making fast-paced action feel incredibly smooth and natural. Third, flatter lighting. This is an advanced trick. Professional cameras often shoot in a log or flat profile to capture more detail. We can mimic this by applying a filter that flattens the lighting, reducing the harsh black and white contrast. This gives the game a softer, more even feel like it's being lit by natural, indirect light. Fourth, color correction. Games love to pop. The grass is neon green, the kits are too bright. We'll use color grading shaders to desaturate these artificial colors and try to match them all together and make colors more subtle. And by that, I don't mean desaturating everything. Instead, I go for almost every color group and try to balance it with the others. For instance, if the reds are oversaturated in general, I tone it down and tone some other undersaturated colors up. Varied tones of an actual sports broadcast. Fifth, softer and brighter shadows. In the real world, shadows are almost never pure black. They have color and softness. We'll adjust the shadows to be less dark and crushed, which adds a huge amount of depth. Sixth, proper anti-aliasing. This is a simple one. We use a shader to smooth out all those jagged, stair-step edges on the players and stadium lines. And finally, my favorite trick, the animation fix. You know when a player's animation just stops suddenly and starts suddenly? In animation, this is called hitting the wall, and it looks robotic. We can use a special frame blending shader that softly melts the previous frame into the current one. 
This baked motion blur smooths out those hard transitions, making player movements look a little more fluid. And guys, don't get me wrong here. It's not going to fix any animations. It's just a visual illusion. Now, you could spend hours tweaking all of that yourself, or you can just use a preset, like the one that I'm providing in the description. Here's how to apply it. Step 1. Download my preset file. It will be a simple text file, ending in .ini. Step 2. Copy that .ini file. Step 3. Paste it directly into your main SP Football Life 2026 folder. Step 4. Now, start your game. You should see a reshade pop-up bar at the top of your screen compiling shaders. Wait until it's done Press the home key on your keyboard to open the reshade menu. And you can skip tutorial. Step 5. At the very top, you'll see a drop down bar. Click it, and you'll see my preset file. Just select it. And instantly, your game is transformed. I also recommend to set a hotkey in the settings tab to easily toggle the effect. I use S. You can press the home key again to close the menu. And that's it. As you can see, the difference is night and day. We've gone from a sharp, oversaturated video game to a soft, cinematic, and fluid broadcast experience. If this tutorial helped you, please hit that like button and subscribe for more realism mods. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or show me your own results. Thanks for watching.